overcome the objection of being a young and new wholesaler. What is up guys, Zach in here, and I've done over a thousand real estate wholesaling deals and I got my first deal at 17 years old and made my first $100,000 in wholesaling real estate by the time I graduated high school. So I know a thing or two about wholesaling real estate when you're a young kid, a teenager. I wanna share how to mold the confidence how to exactly overcome any objections you're gonna get being a young wholesaler. And most importantly, actually how to have success as a teenager starting out in wholesaling real estate. Guys, I've been through this and I wanna share exactly how you can do the same thing for wholesaling real estate success. Now, before we break it down, do me a big favor, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and let's break it all down. So what I can tell you starting out as a beginner in wholesaling real estate is 95% of this game, especially as a young wholesaler out here, it's all in your head. I would say around 95% of wholesaling, your chance of becoming successful, it's not about your market conditions, the right script, the right marketing lists or marketing channels. It's all about what's in between your ears, right? Your mind. If you can control your head, if you can control what you think, your thoughts, how you present yourself, you will become very successful in wholesaling real estate. Now, I will tell you about 5% of people that are not happy with you wholesaling, right? So if you're really young, 95% of your sellers are not gonna have a problem with you. There's gonna be around 5% they're gonna be very ignorant or they might not like the fact that you're young. And I'll tell you straight up, you can easily overcome this objection really simple. Now, in my thousand plus deals in wholesaling real estate, that was me, 23 years old, I've actually only had one deal where I couldn't get the deal because of my age. And this was actually a seller that didn't really want to sell the property too much. They wanted a bidding war and they decided not to go with my quote unquote bid because I looked too young. And that was the only problem out of a thousand deals, probably 2000 appointments over the phone and in person and training my teams. Age has only been the problem on one deal. And that was a probate deal and that was a realtor. So honestly, less than 0.01% a tenth of 1% are gonna have a problem because of your age. So for the 99.9999% of wholesaling real estate deals, it's all about how you present yourself. And we're gonna break this all down, but really what I could tell you is, if you can have confidence, if you can have authority, and if you can present yourself as somebody that's super confident, ready to deliver my message of buying your property for cash, you will get the deal. You'll destroy your competition, guys. When I was 17, 18, 19 years old, I destroyed my competition that was 30, 40, 50 years old that had millions of dollars in their bank account because I had confidence. And in a confident way, that destroyed my other sellers. Guys, when I talk with confidence, especially when I was 18, 19 years old, I was myself. I was truly myself, guys. You cannot pretend to be like somebody else if you wanna get into wholesaling. There's so many beginner wholesalers that try to be like Grant Cardone or Gary Vee or, or George Belfort when it comes to closing deals and they think that's how they have to be and that's not how you have to be. You have to be truly authentic to yourself. When I talk to sellers and I become very successful and close them very well, it's because I present myself as myself, I'm authentic. I keep it very, very simple. Hey, me and my partner are looking to buy your property for cash. What price are you looking to sell it for? Why are you looking to sell it? What's a good time for me to come by the property and look at it? Can you do this price? Well, my partner's at this. Can we do this instead? Okay, we're just looking to buy some properties. Guys, when you keep it really simple and you keep it to the point, and especially in your acquisitions and your negotiating, you'll do very well. It's the people that pretend to be somebody else, I'm gonna say it again, that will never become successful. So the first step is having confidence. And you're gonna have confidence if you act like yourself. If you pretend to be like somebody else, you will not have the confidence, so be yourself. And I want so many young people watching this in wholesaling, especially beginners out here, I want you guys to understand this. Alexander the Great was 20 years old when he became the king of Macedonia. He pretty much went on to conquer a lot of the known world, all the way from Greece, all the way to Persia, even parts of India, especially Egypt too. And by 25 years old, it took him about five years pretty much to conquer the known world. Do you think he had older generals that didn't respect him? Maybe some, but most of them and an entire army respected him and his presence at 20 years old. Now, why did Alexander the Great actually conquer so well and he did so good at such a young age? He presented himself with confidence, he believed in himself, and most importantly, he thought very well of himself and he knew he could do it. If you think to yourself that you can do this, you are capable enough and you have the confidence for doing it, confidence is just a belief in your heart of what you can do and what you can do. So if I truly believe in my heart talking to a seller that I can actually give a cash offer with me and my cash partner, which you can, your cash buyer, you should have all the confidence in the world to go buy the property. Now, did Alexander the Great believe he was the greatest military mind of all time at 20 years old? Probably not, but he knew if he didn't have an answer to something, he could 
probably go to his counsel, right? Same thing like wholesaling real estate. If you don't know an answer to something, maybe you can go and talk to the title company. If you have a probate problem, go to the title company or an attorney. If you have a problem with what the repair costs of something, you can just go back to your contractor or handyman. You don't need to be an expert in wholesaling real estate to have confidence. Augustus Caesar Octavian was 20 years old when he was elected as a Roman senator. Joan of Arc, she was 17 years old when she commanded an entire army in the Hundred Years' War. Now, it didn't end up too well for her, but at 17 years old, because of her confidence, her bravery, and her sheer will, she was able to command thousands to victory. It doesn't matter your age, and I want everybody watching this to understand this. Heck, for all my history people out here, Marquise de Lafayette, which was French that went over to America and helped us win the American Revolutionary War, was thinking 19 years old when he sailed over and he was 20 when he became a general from George Washington. Guys, if this isn't proof enough that if these people can do it at such a young age, you can go out here and talk to somebody and try to buy their house with your cash partner, okay? If these people can lead civilizations at 17, 18, 19 years old, you can go out here and talk to a motivated seller. It takes a lot less bravery to go cold call somebody than from what these people did. So when I look at these type of people starting out when I was 17, I was like, well, they can do it. I can do it. And I hope this is proof enough that you can go out here and do wholesaling deals. Heck, look at me. I was 17 years old when I got my first $20,000 wholesaling real estate deal in high school. This is plenty proof that you can do it. Now let's kind of get into the objection part because yes, you can do it, but you're gonna be hit with a lot of objections. Do you think Joan of Arc didn't get hit with objections that she was too young to go command an army? Now we got a lot better objections to overcome now, so let's sort of talk about this. If you're very young, expect somebody to hit you with the objection. But this objection is just like boxing. If you know somebody's gonna hit you with a right hook, you know to either block it or get out of the stinking way. Same thing. Guys, wholesaling real estate, I've said this a lot of times, is a fight. You're in a fight. You're in a boxing match. If you're in a boxing match, expect the other person to try to punch you in the face. If this is expected and we know how to defend ourselves, we are going to be fine. Guys, when I was 17 years old, I got hit that objection probably every third seller. So about 33.333% of the time, somebody hit me with this objection while starting out young. And yes, I was not 23 years old like I am today with a lot deeper voice and looking a little older. I was a 17 year old kid with a lot squeakier voice, okay? But I was able to overcome this objection by answering it with this. So let's talk about it. Hey, you seem very young to be buying a property. Yes, I am young, I'm 18 years old, but I work with my partner on this. So would my age affect me buying the property if me and my partner had the cash right now to close on the deal in under two weeks? My cash partner's 48 years old. He's been buying properties for over 15 years and I work with him on this. Is this going to affect us buying the property if we got the cash right now? No, I, I don't think it'll affect anything at all. Good, so yes, I am young, but we have the funds ready to go. Okay, yeah. show me around the property. That's basically it, guys. If you say that, hey, if I have the funds, will my age affect anything at all? Would you rather go with somebody that's older than me without the money? I work with my partner here, it's just not me on this transaction. I get it if it was just me, but I can show you a proof of funds on me and my partner's bank account so we can buy the property. One thing I always said too is I just use other people for credibility. So for example, you can use your cash buyer, say, hey, he's kind of the guy with the cash, I'm kind of the guy that looks at the properties and deals with them, that's kind of our mix. I make the decision on buying the property and he funds it with the money. So will this affect anything, Mr. Seller? If you could say that, there's no way someone can say something for you not to get the deal. And if it's a really motivated seller, you'll be fine. I've answered this objection so many times and it works really well. I want you guys to understand, this is why you should have so much confidence in your wholesaling real estate business. You can use your cash partner who's gonna be like 40, 50, 60 years old, who has probably millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars in their bank account, they are your partner on this transaction. You're putting the property under contract and then assigning it to your partner. And then they're gonna flip the property or rent it out. You should have all the confidence in the world to put these properties under contract because you're working at it with your partner. You have a legitimate title company. Name off the title company to the seller. Another really big tip on the appointments are over the phone. If you ask the right questions, like you're actually looking to buy the property, the seller's gonna be like, shoot, this person's actually asking a good amount of questions. Let's be serious about buying the property. If you do it with confidence, you're gonna do very well. How old is the roof on the property? Does the property need any updates? How's the septic tank? Is there a septic tank? Are we on well water or city water on this property? Is this a wood frame house or a concrete block? How much do you think this thing will rent out for? If you're asking questions like that, you'll sound a lot more confident to the seller. You'll sound like you actually know what you're talking about and you'll do well. Guys, it's a big myth that you have to know everything to get a deal in wholesaling real estate. You don't have to know everything about the property. The deal is more about the person and the problem than the property, but asking some of those questions will give you a lot more confidence with yourself and with the seller. I want everybody watching this to know, youth is your asset. 
mindset. Don't act like being young is gonna be a huge problem. Just think about this right now. If you're 17, 18, 19, 20 years old, or even under 30, this is the time to take the risk. The coolest part is you don't have to risk any money to be successful. Most likely, if you're watching this video and you're that young, you have no kids, you might not have a full-time job, you might not have a spouse, you might not have to put a roof over your kid's head or be responsible for anyone or feed them. There's a lot less stress if you go and take the risk. And if you take the quote unquote risk and you don't become successful, it's really not gonna change your life too much. The problem is when you're 30, 40, 50 years old and you have kids, a job, you gotta take care of your wife, your parents get a little older, there's a lot of risk that can happen if you do wholesaling and you quit your job. But when you're really, really young, if you can get really good at wholesaling and actually take the action, you can set this business up for the rest of your life where you don't have to work a nine to five job. That's the point of this video. You can absolutely change your life right now. And this is what I'm telling everybody. Being young is actually not an issue. It's actually a huge plus for yourself because you have more time on your hands. You have more hustle. You have more ambition. And you have a lot more to prove to yourself and to the world. Guys, the point here is you have to create a game plan. If you create a plan and take action with the marketing, the acquisitions, the dispositions, you'll become successful in this business. I have so many 17, 18, 19, 20 year olds that reach out to me thanking me for giving them the first deal. They spend no money at all and they learn absolutely for free from my free real estate course, freeholstling.com. The truth is I see these teenagers that do very well it's because they take consistent action and they put the hustle and the grind in this business. If you're willing to learn wholesaling real estate, I recommend you go to freeholstling.com, take the action, take the hustle, take my advice, and let's get to work. Youth is your asset. Let's get to work and let's start doing some deals. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, go to freeholstling.com, and I'll see you guys soon. This is Zach and signing out. Have a blessed one.